was also, you're really busy this week, which means that you were unable to do videos, which is okay, because I had a couple books that I wanted to talk about. But first off, thanks for the new socks, they're really awesome. Anyways, so recently my friend Glass from work sent me a message saying, hey, I just read this book called Last Days of Night by Graham Moore, and it's really good, I think you might like it. And so I was like, okay, I took a look at, at it, and it's like, oh, this book looks like it might be interesting. So I went ahead and read it, which is always a big nervous thing for me is when I'm reading a book that was re that was recommended to me by someone and it's like their first recommendation because it's like, what if I don't like it? Like, do I have to end the friendship if I don't like this book? Well, fortunately for Glass, she recommended a really good book. Um, Last Days of the Night is about the current wars where, you know, Edison versus Westinghouse for who's going to power America. Edison, of course, having DC current and Westinghouse having AC current. And it isn't told by the perspective of a scientist. It's told from the viewpoint of Westinghouse's lawyer. So there's a lot where he's just like, I don't get what the science is telling me, which was a very interesting perspective to take. One of the other things that I really liked about this book is at the very end, Graham Moore takes an author's note and writes about where he's had to alter the timeline a little bit because history is messy and things that we want to have in a nice neat line kind of all happen at once or happen years apart and it doesn't make any sense in a narrative fashion. So that was really was a really interesting thing to read is, oh, these are the things that Moore had to change and it kind of gave him a better understanding of things where I'm like, Did, I don't remember this happening like this. Um, but yeah, one of the other things that was really interesting about this book is how even though it's a battle between Edison and Westinghouse trying to decide over a patent violation and many other issues, you kind of want it to be wrapped up with this is the good guy, this is the bad guy. Um, and obviously I have my preferences over the Edison and Tesla debate, but it's given over to this idea that no one was really the good guy and no one was really the bad guy. There are admirable qualities to both Westinghouse and Ed Edison, and they both have their flaws. So it's not only just a idea of these guys are trying to win for control, but you're not given the idea of that you should prefer one over the other. And that was one of those things that I found really interesting and I really enjoyed too, because I didn't feel like I was being dictated to what my um, perception of these men were supposed to be. So yeah, Last Days of Night by Graham Moore. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. And yeah, if you want an interesting science-y historical fiction read, I'd re highly recommend it. Okay, bye!